Ninth and the final top of the stretch. Glenview Quintetta, crafty example. Salzburg Flicka, Dinger 2, Westland Cricket, Arizona Bucks, and what can you say? We're off and uh, pacing. Glenview Quintetta down at the rail is away first. We'll take that early lead as they head to the opening eighth. Outside and racing second is Salzburg Flicka down to the inside. Crafty example followed out fourth by Dinger 2. A gap back into five. We find Whistling Cricket. And further on back to Arizona Box and the trailer is What Can You Say? Into the back stretch. First time headed to the quarter. And up front, it is Glenview Quintetta on the front end. Leads by a length and a quarter in the pocket is Crafty Example. Salzburg Flicka has found a seat at the rail in uh, three, tied up fourth. That is Dinger 2. Back in five, Whistling Cricket. Still that gap to Arizona Bucks in uh, six, seventh is what can you say? 28 and 2 the opening quarter. Single file as they arrive at the 3 8s. Glenview Quintetta is charting the path as they continue off the top turn. Crafty example gets the good trip out of the pocket in uh, two. Back there, third out the rail as they approach the half. East Salzburg Flecker looks to the outside, inside. Dinger two will stay inside, fourth outside. Picking up cover he is Whistling Cricket from five. Then Arizona Bucks and what can you say? Continue to trail into the turn out of the five eights. Glenview Quintetta still in control of the field. Now the first over attacker, Salzburg Flicka, up to second, inside third. That's crafty example. Then Whistling Cricket in striking range on the outside. Moves up a second over fourth, fifth, and coming off the rail is Dinger two, the half 58 and one. On their way past three quarters, Glenview Quintetta by a length and a half. Salzburg Flicka back to the rail second, uncovered third outside. That is Whistling Cricket. Up on the outside into four is Dinger two. Crafty example backing off in five. Then Arizona Bucks and what can you say? Past the seven eights they head. One twenty-eight and two. Three quarters. Glenview Quintana opening up in the front is clear by some four open lengths. Outside Whistling Cricket is now second. Inside third is Salzburg Flicka and Dinger two. The fourth one down the lane they come and Glenview Quintana will win the finale in the battle for the play spot. That will go to Whistling Cricket third is Salzburg Flicka. Modern 158 flat. Here's driver Red Set making things look very easy on board number one, Glenview Quintana. And this one uh, made front. It appeared to be over for the rest of them. On to take second, the free-legged mare, whistling cricket and holding down third, a number three Salzburg flick. It's a 1-5-3 try on the end of a Sunday Carticero Raceway. Levy Quintana sailed through fractions 28-2, and 58-1, and 128-2, and at a mile of 158 flat, has her winning her sixth of her career. Number two on the season. That's two wins in her last three outings over Churro. So for Glenview Quintana, she tops the finale here. One, five, three, and four. It's unofficial. Red set goes home with the driving double. Again, a rarity uh, to see the first eight races taken by eight different drivers. So Red set for the driving double. Almost had the triple with Mighty Mouse, the old mare. Uh, just missing back in race number three for CC Stables. So Red Doucette drives for the double aboard Glenview Quintana, taking the finale on this Sunday matinee at Truro Raceway.
Ninth and uh, final winner of the afternoon back in victory lane, number one, Glenview Quintana, six-year-old daughter of Immaculate. Was owned and bred by Adam Johnson of Upper Rookside. Adam does the training. Redmond Dusat, the winning driver. For Redmond, that's his second winning drive of the afternoon. Glenview Quintana. In gate-to-wire fashion in 158 flat.